shortening servo wires without having to cut them. First I fold them into a zigzag pattern. Make sure all the wires lie flat on each other. Like that. I, I squeeze the ends a little bit. You don't want to make too tight of a of a crease there. Just a little bit. Take some heat shrink tubing. Tubing. It comes in, in different sizes. Places like Fry's and Radio Shack has them. I slide that over. I usually leave the, some of the, the ends out. It's obviously a too big piece of heat shrink. Let's try again, like that. You can also kind of stagger it so all the creases, folds are not on top of each other. So alternate a little bit. It'll give them a little more space. Eight straight to be on. And then you just have to heat it up and it will shrink a little bit. It won't put much pressure on it, on the wire at all. It's easy, it's reversible. And it looks neat. If you look at this side here, it's hard to see on the camera, but as I turn it, you can see it's almost flat. So now you can apply a piece of servo tape and just stick it where you want it on your car. And it's so light the servo tape will be more than able to, to hold it in place. Another thing for motor wires. I don't have three wires here for motors. But you can get a sock like material like this. And as you compress it, it gets bigger. Let me see if the other end is not, not melted. So all you gotta do is press the end a little bit and it opens up. Push it on there, put a little bit of heat shrink around here to hold it on tight. And then you just pull on it. And you can see here, which if I push it, it gets thick. But if I pull, it thins out. And you just need something to to like neatly terminate it up here and, and just gently hold it. This way you can have three motor wires running within this little sock. It looks very neat. I apologize for the kids screaming in the background, but that was my little tutorial for today. Thanks for watching.